So we're going to pick a place to start. I like to start at the bottom of the opening and just stitch a little bit. Oops, let me put my presser foot down. Just get stitch it started. It get it started. And if you want, you can also back up and then start again, and that'll make it a little bit more secure. Mm -hmm. All right, so. I like to actually just not back stitch at the beginning of the seam mm -hmm. when I'm working with bulky fabrics. And that way, especially since you've got to get your hand in and out, right. if it does come out a little bit, that's okay. It's going to actually aid in helping you turn everything. And then you right. can just whip stitch that when you're stitching mm -hmm. everything closed. Sure. So, Okay, so when you come up to a corner like this, you're just going to hold it and the, pa the fabric will just kind of move along. You just oh, hold you don't it have to stop place. and pivot or anything. Nope. You can if you want a sharper turn. Mm -hmm. You can stop it and move it and turn it. But if you want a soft curve, just kind of hold it in place on one side. And the fabric Guide it will through. Move. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. On this tight one, it's a little dicier. Just move it kind of slow. You don't have to go too fast if you don't want to. Isn't it nice having a, an extra pair of pants? It is very nice <laughs> to keep that fabric out of the way.